Welcome back. If you're one of the millions working from home due to the pandemic, you could be in for a bit of a shock at tax time next year. Consumer reporter John Matarese explains why you may have to pay some extra taxes so you don't waste your money. So you've gotten used to working from home and you'd like to continue doing it, even if the pandemic ends next spring? Well, watch out. Some states are considering new taxes on home-based workers. This is Tony. How can I help you today? Working from home means more time with family, less time commuting. I just wanted to talk to you. So why should you have to pay income tax to a city you don't work in anymore? Because they desperately need it, according to Bloomberg News. Since the pandemic began, a growing number of cities passed laws requiring you to pay income tax where your company is located. It's all about the money. Cities like New York and Chicago could be decimated if all the people now working remotely no longer paid city tax. It's a rule called convenience of the employer, though there's really nothing convenient about it. And from the Doesn't That Stink file, states now thinking about an extra tax on all at-home workers. Bloomberg News reports a proposal for a 5% income tax for public transit, highways, and other infrastructure not getting used as much. Proponents say home-based workers are saving that much money with no gas, parking, mass transit, and lunch fees every day. But any new tax still stinks. Now, many companies are planning to keep workers home through next summer, and that could really take a toll on cities with empty offices. So always don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, Chris 6 News. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.